Hi you guys, I hope you're all doing good. Um, I know it's kind of late in the week already and usually I try and balance my videos out throughout the week, but I actually have a really good reason. I did something stupid, basically. Thursday and Friday, I decided my house was driving me nuts, so I did a really, really good deep clean of my house. I scrubbed tubs, I scrubbed floors, I did all the dishes in the house, scrubbed everything really, really good. So I spent basically two days doing that, getting things organized, nice and clean. I thought, you know what, if I get spotless now, I don't have to worry about it over the weekend. Weekend came, my mom watched the kids, which was awesome because me and my husband basically had two days to ourselves and we went out and did all our grocery shopping. We went and got um, blackout curtains now that's summer because I like sleeping in and I like it when the kids sleep in and blackout curtains help with that. Um, and just went and like priced a bunch of things that we're looking at getting for the house. However, this means I basically walked for four days straight, walking, bending, all that stuff. And you guys know um, my hips. I'm having a lot of problems with my hips this pregnancy. Um, I've gone further into that in some of my pregnancy update videos. But basically, I pushed it way, way, way too far. Um, I could not walk Monday. I could not get out of bed and walk. More than about 10, 15 feet is all I could do before I would hit the floor. Um, so I basically spent all of Monday, all of Tuesday recuperating because I could not get out of bed. Um, some things I did were I alternated heat and ice, I took long hot soaks, and finally today I'm feeling a little bit better. What I've started to do is I actually have um, what's called a Pomodoro or a tomato timer on my phone. It's kind of this time management thing, but I can actually set this so that whenever I get up, I can set the timer and it will go off after a specified amount of time. So I set mine to go off after about 10 minutes. That way I don't stay up on my feet for more than 10 minutes at a shot because that's about all my hips can handle. Even though it won't hurt while I'm doing an activity, later it will hurt really, really, really bad and I won't be able to function. So um, that's kind of why everything is running later this week is because I'm stupid, I way overdid it. And now I've put some things in place that will hopefully keep me from overdoing it in the future. But I wanted to make sure I got my May favorites done for you guys before we are too far into June. I don't have a ton this month, but there's some things I've been going back to over and over again. And I'm just going to jump right into those now that I've kind of given you the backstory on where I've been. Up first in my favorites are these. I know this is kind of ridiculous to show them what is technically primarily beauty channel, but you guys know I do lifestyle stuff and vlogs too. Um, these are Tums. They're basically chewy um, heartburn medication. Instead of the chalky tablets, these are chewy and they taste like orange. And I'm pregnant. I'm getting a ton of heartburn and these help so, so much. These actually help me better than the Rolaids chewy ones, which I tried too. But I only need like one of these, whereas I need like three of the Rolaid ones. So these work really, really awesome. And they actually taste decent. They taste like orange chewing gum, basically. Up next is something that I've probably featured in every single favorites video since I got it. And that's my simple cleansing micellar water. This is pretty much the only thing I use to take off my makeup now. It takes off every single waterproof mascara I have, every single waterproof eyeliner I have from high end to drugstore. It takes them all off beautifully. And I have some mascaras and some eyeliners that I can sleep in and they will not come off and this takes them off and it does not sting my eyes so huge huge fan of this I've been loving it um, I've had this for quite a while now and I'm only about halfway through the bottle so it really does last a long time something else I've been loving for skincare is I wanted to try this out for several several weeks before I let you guys know what I actually think about it I think I think I may have put this in last month's favorites video I don't know if I did, it's still a favorite. Um, it's the Garnier Ultra Lift Miracle Sleeping Cream. Um, Anti-age, anti-fatigue night cream. This stuff is amazing. It's crazy, crazy thick. 
it has just a really, really light scent to it. It's almost um, a citrusy scent, not very strong at all. And I love how, um, how moisturized it makes my skin feel. All right, next is my Nivea Lip Butter. This is in Vanilla and Macadamia Kiss. This smells so good. Oh my gosh, this smells like cookies. It's like heaven. Um, I keep this right by my nightstand, and I use this before bed every night. And pretty much whenever I think of it, like if I need to take a break from my hips and I'm lying down, I go ahead and put some of this on it. It's kept my lips really, really nice, um, especially because I deal with really, really dry chap lips almost constantly. So this works really well. I know I'm saying really a lot. Um, can I blame lack of caffeine? I've only had like one Dr. Pepper today. Um, up next is with my nails. You guys know probably about two or three months ago, I did some um, just glue-on nails instead of normally I use the um, press-ons if I want longer nails. I had done some glue-on nails because I wanted to try and do a stiletto tip. I love the way they looked. However, when I took them off, they pretty much trashed my nails. So thankfully my nails are looking much, much better now. To help my nails really start recovering, I've used a product I've used in the past that I really like, and that's the Nail Teaks Formula 2. This is designed for um, thin, weak, peeling, and chipping nails. And um, technically you're supposed to put on um, one coat every single day for like the first two weeks, and then move on to a coat every other day after that. I don't necessarily follow that. Like I'll do the first week every single day and then after that I'll kind of just do it as needed because this really helps my nails bounce back very, very quickly. Um, I do love this. I don't love it as much as OPI's Nail Envy though. That's definitely my favorite but for some reason my bottle of Nail Envy went missing probably about six months ago and I just haven't repurchased it because I still have my nail teaks and I've been working through that and when I run out of this I will go back to using my Nail Envy because I think it does make my nails, um, it helps with the natural curve a little bit more but for now that's really really working and it has definitely helped stop the peeling and the chipping and the cracking so that's excellent for that. Alright now I think I've gone through most of the non strictly makeup stuff so everything else is pretty much strictly makeup. Uh, first up is a double-ended Urban Decay eye pencil. This has um, Perversion on one end and Rockstar on the other. Perversion, of course, is your classic black. And then Rockstar is this gorgeous, gorgeous deep purple shade that I love. This one right here. I love this shade so, so much, especially for green eyes. If you have green eyes and you're really trying to get them to really pop without you know doing a full purple um, eyeshadow that's really the way to go. My next favorite is from Physicians Formula and this is their Nude Wear Touch of Glow palette. I think I featured this before too. It has um, a highlight, a blush, a powder, and a bronzer shade. The powder shade you really can't use as powder because it's super super glittery. But um, I love this highlight shade, and that's really what my main favorite is this month, is this highlight. I mean, this is just absolutely gorgeous. I love it so, so much. This has been my go-to highlight. I have it on my cheekbones right now. I've literally not been using any of my other highlights because that one is perfect. So my next favorite is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. I've been using this as a eyeshadow base. And this is just this really neutral creamy shade. And it has just a little bit of shimmer to it. It's almost a, it's almost like a peachy tone. So it's really, really good for using as a base under almost any neutral eye look, especially if you're using shimmer on your lid. And it pairs really well with my next favorite, which is my NYX Prismatic Shadow, and this is in Girl Talk. I love these shadows. These are amazing. This is such a pretty base color. Now, if you have darker skin tone than I am, this would probably be a great highlight because it's kind of a champagne-y, peachy shade. But for me, it's too dark to be a highlight, but it makes a beautiful, beautiful base shade. It's right here. 
I just love this shade. I think it's gorgeous. And it's actually what I have on as my base shade on my eyelids today. So if you haven't tried any of their Pr NYX's Prismatic Shadows yet, seriously, go pick one up. They're really cheap and try it out because I have two of them now and I'm definitely planning on going back and getting more because they are that good. Next up, I have um, the lipstick I'm actually wearing again today. And this is the Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipsticks and this is a nude. I've been experimenting more with nude lips. This is what that lipstick looks like. It's really, really beautiful. It's creamy, it's rich. Next up is my go-to eye palette for this month, which has been the L'Oreal Le Palette Nude One. I will go ahead and link the review and a tutorial I did for this. Um, there should be, I can't remember which side it's in, but there should be a little eye in a circle for information up in one of the corners of this video. If you go ahead and click on that, um, these little cards will pop down from the side for you guys. So you can go ahead and click on those to see um, different videos that I have. They're always going to be related to the video you're watching. So like for me with this is a favorite that that card is going to link you to the tutorial I did with this palette and the review I did of this palette. So you can get more information on that product. Anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful neutrals palette. I just love it. Um, I've been using it almost every single day. Even if I don't use it for my whole look, I've been going into it and using the highlight shades and I've been using a lot of these mid-range shades in my crease. I'm really just playing with it because it's so nice, it's so easy, and it's one of those palettes that is foolproof. It's really, really hard to screw up with it. And for my last favorite, this is actually a sample I got when I bought my new eyelash curler. This is from Tarte, it's their Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, and I had not used this before, and now I'm kicking myself because it's what I'm wearing on my eyes right now, and I am obsessed with this mascara. I love this mascara. I love the brush. It's super, 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 hopefully you guys can see it. It's super dense and thick. The bristles are your normal bristles, not like your rubberized. And it does a beautiful job on my top lashes. It's really, really black and thick. And I like that it keeps everything separated. I haven't had a single clumping issue with this. And I also like that it does a beautiful job on my lower lashes as well. Because those are the ones I tend to have trouble with. Because my lower lashes aren't incredibly dense, but they're incredibly long. So if I use the wrong mascara on them, you'll notice a lot of times I won't do mascara on my lower lashes. That's because if I use the wrong mascara on them, I will look like a porcelain doll who has like three or four lashes down there. But this works amazingly on both my top and bottom lashes. So um, I probably have about, let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, okay, I have about ten mascaras I'm using right now. So once I get through some of those and get them used up, I'm definitely going to buy a full-size version of this because it is amazing. And that is pretty much everything for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give Give it a thumbs up and if you haven't yet I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on joannabrooks.net and on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook. All the links for those are in the Dropbox down below. Thank you guys so so much for watching. Bye!